guys, so today is a very exciting day because it is May 5th, and May 5th is Mocha's birthday. He's one of my few rabbits that I actually know his specific birthday. Uh, his birthday is May 5th, 2009, so today is May 5th, 2017, and he is going to be 8 years old. Well, he is 8 years old, so that's just crazy to think that it's been eight years since I've had bunnies. It's just, I mean, in one way I've had them forever and in another way I'm like, wow, like that's a long time. So I am very unprepared for the birthday. Uh, when I, like the first couple years after I got Mocha, I always had like ordered um, toys for him and stuff like that but I am not that prepared anymore, especially just because I have so much going on. But I wanted to do something special for his birthday, as I also uh, celebrate Lulu's and Ebony's birthday the same day, just because um, I know they were both born in the summer-ish, so it's just easy for me to do all the same day because I'm really bad at remembering dates. Um, and then I also know Sterling's birthday, his is in January, so. Um, yes, so I am about to go to Dr. Foster's and Smith, which is, um, I live in the same town as Dr. Foster and Smith, so I can just, like, go to their retail store and either purchase things there or you just order it and then drive to the warehouse and pick it up. So that's what I'm currently going to do. I'm going to pick up a couple things for him and then I am going to give it to them. car and I put like this sweatshirt on and it's 56 degrees outside which you know it's kind of warm um, for Wisconsin at least um, but it's like still like a little bit chilly breeze but my car is like super hot and my air conditioning hasn't been working very well so not sure how long this sweatshirt is gonna last but yeah it's only about like a five minute ish drive to um, Dr. Foster and Smith I've never really timed it but it doesn't take that long to get there so let's go I just got here and there's like no one in the parking lot at all um, there's people at the warehouse so but I'm wondering if maybe for some reason they're closed I don't know I really hope not but their windows are open at the retail store so let's go see and they were totally open. <laughs> um, there's people here now. I think it was just like a slow period because it was noon on a Friday. Most people are working. So um, I got them a couple of things and I will show you that now. I'm just gonna drive down to the warehouse which is like right next door. So um, then you just wait for the warehouse people to pick your order and then they bring it to you. So I will have the products very soon. home I do need to get a couple of things um, for sewing um, if you guys didn't know I am actually working on making a lot of pre-mades for a store that I hope to be opening very very shortly um, so that's just kind of like a sneak peek but yes I need to go get some supplies um, to finish some of those pre-mades and then I'll go home and I will show you what I bought them okay so the first thing I got was this basket and this is called the twig glue and I've gotten this almost every year for my bunnies for their birthday just because I don't know it's just at Dr. Foster and Smith so it's super easy to get um, it's made I'm pretty sure it's made out of willow and um, 
Yes, it is. It's made out of willow and it is made by Critterware. And um, normally I don't buy willow products from other people besides Busy Bunny just because Busy Bunny's products are just like super good. But this is um, something by Critterware that I buy all the time um, and my bunnies love it. I actually have a little bit of this basket left from last year, but I thought uh, they would enjoy a new one. So the next thing I got is way smaller than I wanted, but um, they were out of the large size. It was on back order until May 16th. So I was like, I need it today, so I'm not gonna get that. So I got the medium Timothy mat from Oxbow. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can tell it's, it's pretty small. I mean, ebony, I mean, they could probably stand on it, but it's not like as big as I would have preferred just because uh, rabbits are <laughs> bigger creatures than like most of the other animals shown here. But yeah, they'll probably enjoy just destroying that. And if they end up not using it, I know Sterling will use it. And then this last thing I got, I am not quite sure if they're going to fit in it. Um, as it is quite small. However, Ebony is my smallest rabbit. She's about like three pounds um, and she's like, you know, quite small. So she'll probably be able to use this quite easily. But this is a nature Nature's Hideaway and it's by Pro, oh, I don't know how to say that. Preview Hendrix maybe. And this is what it looks like. So it's a little house. Um, it has two doors um, and but as you can see from like here um, the doors are quite small so I think ebony could definitely fit in there but I don't know about the other bunnies so if they can't fit inside what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like stuff it full of hay and use it as a hay feeder um, which they will definitely like um, that's kind of what I do with this twig glue because the twig glue is meant to um, also maybe be a hideaway, but one thing I don't like is there's only one door, so a lot of the times rabbits don't use that anyways, um, but my rabbits could never really fit in there, so I always just use it like a basket, and I fill it with hay, and um, the bunnies really enjoy just like eating out of it. So that's pretty much it for what I got the bunnies. I did end up going to Walmart and getting polyfill for, um, the bunny beds that I am making and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to show you a little bit later me giving the gifts to the bunnies and showing you like how they like them and stuff. So it is many many hours later and I am just now getting around to doing the bunnies presents. Um, I had to do a lot of like work today so even though it was my day off I still work. <laughs> Um, but here are their presents. So I just have them all stacked here, ready to go. The basket I have filled with oat hay from Small Pet Select, second cut Timothy hay from Small Pet Select, and orchard grass from Small Pet Select. So it's all mixed together in there. And then I also have this house and the Timothy mat on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and see what they think. They just had their veggies, um, so they may or may not be excited for this. Um, the hay mess is because I'm probably gonna be needing to do a cage clean soon, and I've been giving them their new oat hay out here, so, you know, they kind of destroy that. All right, so they came running for all the toys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just lay them out here for them. Of course the food is the best. Oh, I also put rose petals in there. I had some leftover samples of rose petals from Bunfest, which I haven't used yet. So I um, sprinkled a little package of those in there, which you can kind of see. Um, I don't know if the bunnies like them. I know one of my bunnies did. I forgot who it was, but I also know another bunny didn't like it. So <laughs> they're going crazy. That's so cute. Also, I know the lighting down here still isn't the greatest, but I have updated it a little bit. Um, I am not using any filming lights for this video, so this is just all that's down here. Um, and it's nighttime, so there's like no natural lighting or anything, so um, yeah. Focus just being so cute and like just chilling by me. Hi, buddy. Do you think I have food? 
I don't have any food. Yeah, you gotta go by there. You gotta go eat your food over there. <laughs> so if you guys uh, didn't see, I did add something to their cage, which hopefully I'll be showing in a cage tour. Uh, but pretty much it's just a NIC grid tunnel system. So uh, I don't know how many grids it is, I'd have to count it. Um, but it's just an L shape. There's a door here and then a door there underneath all that blankets. And then over here, I do have a ramp leading up. I'm not sure if they use it or if they even go on top, but they do enjoy going underneath. Um, I honestly don't really want Mocha using the top because he is a little bit tipsy sometimes, uh, depending on the day. So yeah, this is their little area. I'm trying to make it more fun for them so that they actually utilize this space before they were just staying over in their cage area, which is over there because they really like that Heidi house and then the food's there, everything like that. So they've been, Mocha and Ebony have been really sleeping in there a lot. I don't know about Lulu. Um, my security camera is currently down, so I haven't like been able to watch them when I'm not in the room with them. <laughs> He's so cute, Mocha. Oh, yep. <laughs> you gonna chase her away? Is that your birthday present? He's like, mine. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for their birthday video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's nothing too extravagant. Um, I don't really do a whole lot for their birthdays. Um, I mean, I bought them a couple toys and I'm giving them some treats, but otherwise I don't like make special salads or anything just because my bunnies get big salads anyways. And um, I don't really have any like extra veggies to like give them to make it more special. So Mocha is chasing everyone away from his presence. Mocha, normally you're not the one to chase people. Normally that's Lulu. <laughs> He's like, it's mine. It's my official birthday. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I do for my bunny's birthdays. And um, Mocha, just to rephrase everything, I'll probably have to redo the intro. I'm not sure if I've gotten it done before this video, but Mocha is eight years old, Lulu is eight years old, and Ebony is, oh shoot, I think she's five. I, I struggle with her birthday just because like I was never really given a good estimate on her so I'm pretty sure Ebony's five. Let me know down below if you like this vlog style videos or if you like more of my how-to videos or more of like my cage tour videos. I'm just trying to get like a feel of what you guys want to see. Uh, personally these are the easiest for me to film in stuff. Um, but I would say my favorite videos, the ones that are like I'm most proud of, are probably my how-to videos. Um, so yeah, just let me know down in the comment section below what you guys, um, which ones are your favorite videos. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye! Ow! I fail at vlogging.